obviously, as we mentioned previously, the NBA schedule drops tomorrow, or I guess today, um, by the time this video comes out, um, which will be interesting. We all we, we always love schedule release. I think last year the league, the team admins had some fun with it. They made some funny videos. The I remember the Nets did uh, like a tranquil, like you know, like the Daily Calm or the Daily like uh, Better Help or uh, or or whatever okay. the other app is. Yeah, they essentially did that, where it was like opening day. Cleveland Cavaliers and it was just like really creepy it was just like so serene at the same time okay some teams did like remember when the uh I think it was I remember which team did it but they interviewed people to say which logo it was and they said something so wrong uh, <laughs> yeah they would do that I know okay. I know for the um the in-season tournament the Blazers did like an otter dunking a basketball and they have all the teams we're not going to cover the in-season tournament matchups because we already know the groups we know yeah. when they'll be and everything like that However, there's, I'd say, a solid like eight to ten games that we're going to cover here today um, that will kind of get underway. So the first one, obviously, we're going to start on ring night. Uh, ring night is always fun, you know, get to see everyone get their rings, raise a banner, and we're going to get to see the Boston Celtics raise banner number 18, a world record raising banner as the most titles in NBA history, and unfortunately, um, out of all the teams they could have played, they decided to put them against the New York Knicks. So Cel the Knicks at Celtics on October 22nd. That will be the first game of the season and the last ever opening night on TNT. Wow. So sad. Yeah. But true. Crazy, man, right? Um, so that'll be that'll be cool. Um, we'll get to see Tatum and Brown get their first ring. We'll get to see a Tingus Ringus. Okay. Against, against his former team. Yeah. even He's not going to play. But yeah. Man. this is motivation for the Knicks to to get where they want to be, yeah, and flip the roles next year where they get the rings and Celtics are watching them. Ooh, I Ooh. like that, Anthony. Freezing cold take, Anthony. Um, okay, so they're gonna Freezing swap cold. roles next year. Okay, well it depends because if let's say you do win a ring, let's say you have like a really tough series against like the Heat, you'll go up against them. Because everyone thought, like, if the Bucks ever won a championship, they'd go up against, like, the Celtics. But obviously, after what happened against us, they had us be ring night opponents. So that I thought they were going to play them against the Heat this year because the Celtics and Heat have been duking it out in major playoff series right. for years now, especially in this decade alone. Right. So That's going to be a cool matchup, though. Nick yeah. Celtics. It'll be interesting. We'll obviously get a first glimpse at the Mikhail Bridges fit yeah, and everything cool. like that. We'll see what happens there. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to lie. The next game is very lackluster. Not really something I had thought of, but it's going to be the Minnesota Timberwolves heading to L.A. to take on the Los Angeles Lakers. It's okay. I like it. Yeah. It's, it's a it's lot okay. of star power. It's flashy. Yeah. I'm just so bored of the Lakers, man. Like, the Lakers just try and butt their heads in everything. Yeah. They're always going to get well, that Well, yeah, they're though. always, and especially Braun and AD, of course. Yeah. I'd rather, like, at least put them up against Steph or something. Like the war, either the Warriors, Lakers, the Warriors. You're saying, yeah, that could have been a good matchup, or even the Suns at the very least. I think it was Lakers Suns last year. No, it wasn't. It was Warriors Suns last year. Mm -hmm. So, I guess it's fair. I mean, the champions always going to play opening night. The Lakers are always going to play opening night. Well, they didn't let. No, they did last year. I'm sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> but yeah, to me, I think opening night could have been better. Yeah. If I'm being honest, I wouldn't have played. The, I wouldn't have had the Lakers on opening night. I personally would have done Celtics Heat. For ring night? I would have been fine with Lakers at Clippers just to ring it into a dome. Right. I would have done... I would have done probably... I wouldn't do Dallas because it was... I don't want to have both finals teams on opening night, but I would probably do Minnesota Clippers. Hmm. I think that could be good, yeah. potentially. Or even if you do like Clippers, like really Clippers anyone to open yeah. that new arena. But speaking of the Los Angeles Clippers, the very next day, they're opening up the Intuit Dome against the Phoenix Suns. That's fine. I'm perfectly okay with that. So Clippers are getting cooked. <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah, they remember they lost Russ, so Gio hates them. In now. their first night. And, and they lost they PG. Down. Yeah. Kawhi we'll is still Kawhi. Injured. We'll, we'll have to we'll see. We'll see if he plays. Oh, man, that arena's going to look sick, dude. I'm yeah. excited for oh, that Oh, man. One. I cannot wait. I've already seen some videos like inside and everything. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. I would love to go there one day. One day. One day. Yeah. But essentially, that is that game. And also that night, we're going to get to see um, the PG Sixers at home against the Milwaukee Bucks. I like this one. That's this perfect. actually would have been a really this good one. This might be my matchup. favorite one, yeah. Yeah. Really good one. A healthy Bucks team back against the new-look new, new look Sixers. Yeah. Dame, Giannis, PG, Embiid. 
Maxi, yeah, it's going to be a good one. Yeah, it's going to be a really intense matchup. I think this game is going to be... I, I, I'm i assuming all these games are going to be nationally televised since they've been leaked. Mm-hmm. But I think this will be... This should be an opening night type game. Oh, yeah. So we'll see. Oh, excuse me. How that goes. Uh, moving into the next day, October 24th. The San Antonio Spurs will be opening up their season in Dallas against the Mavericks. That's a matchup. So a battle for Texas. I think a really good opening matchup for the Mavs after falling in the finals. The new look Mavs with Clay Thompson. Oh, that's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be exciting. And this um Who do the Spurs have now? Chris Paul. Chris, Chris Paul. Paul, right, right, right. Wemby. They drafted Stefan Castle. Yeah. Stephon Castle. So yeah. we'll yeah. see how they turn out. Yeah, they're gonna get cooked. Yeah, they probably will. <laughs> but Actually, I just realized, I think Wemby's like second, first or second game last year was also against the Mavs. Mm. I remember like the mic'd up moment with Kyrie. Oh, yeah. So, interesting there. We move into November. This is about a week before the in-season tournament starts, because that starts on the 13th. November 6th will be Paul George's return to the Intuit Dome. The Sixers are playing the Los Angeles Clippers. Yeah. yeah. Given. Given. He's going to play it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully. You know, knock on wood that he's healthy. Mm-hmm. But... Um, that's that. And then on November 12th, the Dallas Mavericks, Clay Thompson will make his return to Golden State to take on the Warriors. Yeah. That's going to be a very emotional one. That's a more significant return. Yeah. For sure. There's going to be a bunch of, you know, a bunch of cheers when they do the starting lineup. Yeah. Uh, He'll get a tribute video. He'll get, he'll get the whole nine yards. Yeah. Yeah. They'll probably gift him something before the game starts and everything. think so? Yeah. Yeah. Clay Thompson's a warrior legend like yeah. this is no this is like it's, it's kind of crazy yeah it's weird about. it'd be weird seeing him in a different uniform yeah so yeah was he a three-time champion four-time champion four-time champion oh yeah so and i think he has like most records not held by steph yes <laughs> so, yeah he definitely is a legend number 11 is wow. going to go up in the rafters when he's retired oh absolutely hall so, of famer absolutely first ballot top 75 player so, congrats to Clay, and that'll be a that'll be a tough game. Um, obviously, you revealed the Christmas games last time. We'll just roll through them one more time. You got Spurs, Knicks, Wolves, Mavs, Sixers, uh, Celtics, Lakers, Warriors, Nuggets, Suns. So, decent matchups, not horrible. No. January twenty fifth and February sixth will be the finals rematches. January twenty fifth in Dallas, February sixth in Boston. Okay. And that's essentially all the games that we've known so far. I like those. So. Exciting. Very yeah. exciting times. Yeah. It's weird that we never we never see these finals rematches until like the winter. It's really odd. I think they give them more time to settle in. They True. Because the Nuggets and Heat played last year in like January and February also. So quite interesting. And um, I guess we'll just have to just wait and see what happens. I think us two open the in-season tournament on the 13th at the Garden. All right. So should be good. I actually, I do hope they beat us so we can get Cooper Flag. So, <laughs> I hope we win. Well, you if you don't win, there's questions to ask. Right. Because the, <laughs> fu- the funniest thing is going to be like Nets fans wanting to lose and Knicks fans thinking that Nets fans are going to be upset when they lose when in reality we're not. Oh, I know you guys are. So, we just, we just, we want to be in purgatory for the next three years. 